What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about is Battlefield 2042's post launch content, aka seasons, actually over? Or did DICE just give us a little something, something to, you know, maybe latch on to a little bit as far as content goes? But yesterday on Twitter, DICE tweeted out uh, what their post season content is going to be since we're not getting a season. Eight. And as I predicted, I don't know, I've been predicting this for a while, we're going to be getting what's called quote-unquote vault drops, which is basically portal vehicles as of right now, and what I assume will also be portal weapons being dropped into the game, drip-fed to us, of course, into the game, but given to us anyways over the course of time. And of course, they put out this little blog post and put out you know you know a little bit of information about what we're getting so events new and returning through our seven seasons we've been we've seen you enjoy our events such as archangel directive and fan favorite mode control so we'll be bringing back them back as we rotate through past events alongside returning rewards who miss returning rewards for who missed them this will start with the return of leviathan rising later in july we're also going to be bringing new events to battlefield 2042 over four weeks with new ways to play progression via an event pass of course you're gonna have to buy that you're gonna pony up some money with free and premium tiers there it is new cosmetics and more this first new event will be playable this coming Halloween period. Interesting. Stay tuned for more details. So they're going to be rotating uh, old events and, you know, rotating those cosmetics back in, of course, for the people who didn't, you know, earn them. And they're also going to be there are also going to be some new events that are going to be rotated in. So if you care about that. Uh, you know, you load you you load into about two or three games, get the gist of these events, and then never play them again, of course. Uh, <laughs> or you get the cosmetics for them and then never play them again. Uh, if you care about that kind of thing, there you go. But the more interesting thing, of course, in this article is them going over the quote unquote vault drops. I'll throw that up on screen for you guys. Now, Vault Drops will be multi-week moments for you to unlock content in all-out warfare. You've seen you've seen us bring Battlefield Portal weapons across for use in all-out warfare, but we've heard you also want us to start doing that with vehicles. Vault Drops will start later in the year with the vehicle from Portal that we know you'll be excited to get your hands on. These events will allow you to both try and unlock the new hardware. Depending on the piece of hardware, it will come with mastery, attachments, and universal skins, and with additional balance changes to ensure their gameplay matches the existing all-out warfare roster. So I find it interesting that they specify vehicles, but don't say anything about weapons. You, I would assume, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I would assume weapons would be the easier thing or content a kick quarter i love how they're saying new new and it's not new it's been in portal this entire time unfortunately but portal is hot caca hot garbage don't ever do it again anyways that's a, that's a whole separate that's a whole separate video like let's not rant we're talking about we're talking about vault drops right now but i do find it interesting that they specify vehicles and not weapons because weapons is kind of the gameplay of FPS. For me specifically, I don't play a lot of Conquest or Conquest at all. I mean, we'll go there every once in a while. I have Breakthroughs Dead, which has been happening a lot lately. But I don't, I, like, I've spawned in the Draugr, I think, two or three times. I think I, I've got, like, four kills with it, <laughs> maybe. And I've been seeing people farm with it. And I'm, I, I still have no want or, I, I hey. This vault, these vehicle vault drops don't pertain to me unless they're going to bring them the breakthrough, which if it's the helicopter, the UH, whatever, whatever, whatever's in the picture, which is the Bad Company 2 chopper, I believe. If that's the first vehicle, lame, number one. And number two, would they bring that into, probably because it's a transport helicopter, so you would either get that or the hind or that or the condor, depending on what side you're on. Attacking, that is, because we don't play defense over here. We, we, we don't, we don't, we don't play defense over here, all right, we're. We just, we, we farm, we, we play offense, we don't play defense, but I predicted this, uh, I've said this multiple times, that this is what I would personally do, as far as content goes, until the next game, is to give us, I, I, my initial thing was to dump it all at once, dump all of it, I'm, maybe not all of it, but all the Back Company 2 stuff, all the Battlefield 3 stuff, into all the weapons, 
all the vehicles, well, maybe not all the vehicles, and then the World War II stuff, I said if they could muster up the manpower, uh, give us the World War II weapons and just put like a rail, a modern rail system on them so we can use the modern attachments, the modern red dot, the modern whatever, the grips or whatever, and just dump it into all-out warfare and say, F it, here you go. And all at once as one big content drop as the like farewell, we're done, here you go. Here's all these new tier tier one badges you can get. Here's all this. Give us something to do, but no, they couldn't help themselves. They had to drip, 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 drip feed us to death. Which I, you know, is not really surprising to me. Uh, you know, better late than never, but never late is better. They should have been doing. They were kind of doing this throughout the lifespan of 2042, giving us vault weapons. But uh, there's still some that we don't have. The G3, the AUG, the SKS, I think a couple LMGs, the World War, any of the World War II weapons we don't have. Um, I just, I, 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 I get what they're doing, but you could have been doing this all along. But maybe this was their plan from the jump was to was to drip feed us portal content as we got uh, later into the game. But yeah, what do you guys think? I, I find it kind of interesting. Uh, it's what I would have done. I would have did this this slowly. The events, who cares? Really? I mean, do we care about that? I guess the new ones we kind of are, are kind of interested in. Now, they do say something about an event pass, which I think is for four weeks. And if it's and it's premium, so it's basically gonna be a battle pass. But if you're gonna pay for new mo or old modes being rotated in, that's kinda ugh. Uh, I don't know if I <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that too much now the vault vehicles bring up an interesting question because are we gonna finally 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 gonna get the a10 and the frog foot in the main all-out warfare are we gonna get the a10 in all-out warfare that's my question i think that's everybody's question please give it to us now now they've said in the past because people have been asking for this for like the entire game's lifespan that the A-10 or the attack jets in general would throw off the balance of, <laughs> of, of like, the vehicle balance and, like, air or vehicle versus infantry balance as if the Draugr doesn't drastically change that already. <laughs> At things OP, the kerosene bombs, I've seen people playing with it, and it is unbelievable. And if you think the A-10 is going to be better than that thing at farming infantry, I don't know what to tell you but do you think we're gonna get the a10 i think that's the, that's the one everybody wants the attack jets they're the ones everybody wants and are we ever gonna get it probably not because they hate fun over at dice they hate fun hashtag bring suppressors back make suppressors great again but yeah the a10 is probably number one on the docket or the attack jets in general are probably number one and number two, or however many are in Portal, I have no idea. The the BMT, the LAVs, the the different, maybe the old T90s and the old Abrams, and would do you think they would do that? Since we already have the M1A5 and the what, what is the what is the Russian one called? The T28, I think, or T is it T28? I think, and the M1A5, or do you think they give us the option of the of the M2 Abrams, the Mark One or Mark Two Abrams, or the or the uh, T, what would it be, T-14, I think, I don't know, I don't know, but the attack jet, uh, the OG vehicles, back up two vehicles, imagine they drop a Sherman in the all warfare, <laughs> or a Tiger tank, that would be uh, hilarious, or the Spitfire, the Mustangs, that would, versus modern jets, that would be so fun, they probably have a better turn rate, to be honest, which, they'd probably be better for dogfighting, I don't know if they'd be better for farming, though, but I'm just sitting here trying to think of of ways they could kind of <laughs> utilize this but tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below do you uh, like the idea of old old events uh coming and being able to earn those cos cosmetics if you didn't get to earn them new ones being rotated in uh the event pass the premium event pass which seems to be like a battle pass and of course the vault vehicles and no vault weapons right now but i have a feeling those are coming so tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below like comment subscribe share with your friends turn on notification bell know when we go live like 60 i think 65 percent of people or something like that 
aren't subscribed to the channel, so be, sh be sure to subscribe. You, you you might think you are, but you're probably not because the algorithm is just is just that dang good. So, yeah, all the links down in the description below. Join the Discord. Follow on Twitter. I teach you how to stream every single day right here on YouTube.com slash JustGav. And we also multi-stream to Twitch.tv slash JustGav. So, whatever platform you pr prefer. Platform you prefer. English is hard. All right, boys and girls. I'm out of here. Deuces. Tell you that we leave in. Bye, guys. <laughs>